Welcome back to the news hour. Health and transportation officials in the Kootenays have had to face tough questions after four heliports in the region were shut down due to safety and maintenance issues. That's meant that doctors have had to make other arrangements when trying to get their patients treatment elsewhere in the province. But the one Kootenay community bucking that trend is Trail, where residents rallied together to raise the funds to launch their own much needed heliport. Up until just a few weeks ago, this helicopter would have been landing in a school parking lot, a boat launch, or a nearby park, anywhere it could set down. When every minute counts, those locations cost precious time in transporting patients to Kootenay Boundary Regional Hospital. That's not the case today. The pilot is landing at the city's new heliport right next to the hospital. We really recognize the need for moving people quickly to the hospital. Um, without this pad, we basically were set up with an added 35 to 45 minutes of switch over and transport time before we could get somebody into the facility. H marks the spot where each month as many as nine emergency air evacuations and transfers are made. Physicians say, especially with heart patients, the heliport is an asset. Reducing patient transport time between KBRH and Kelowna's new heart and surgical center from four hours or more to 20 minutes door to door. Well, some patients are too unstable to uh, transport by, uh, by uh, ambulance, ground ambulance. And uh, uh, trauma patients are one example where we know that uh, the care they receive in the first hour can be critical to their survival. The land the heliport was built on was donated and the community rallied to fundraise half of the $825,000 project. The community support for this um, uh, project to build a heli uh, pad has been the result of a lot of effort and on a lot of people's part in the community and, and again demonstrates uh, how generous uh, the people of, of uh, the Kootenay Boundary area are. Not limited to hospital use, the port will be accessed by search and rescue teams and military when needed. Staff here say it is a long overdue lifeline to the more than 80,000 residents who call the Kootenay Boundary and Central Kootenay home. It's going to save lives. Guaranteed the time is just of the essence in our job, right? That's the whole game.